G'day everyone, welcome back to the channel. This episode, we've just come down to a little uh, uh, eco-friendly cabin just down near Stoker's Siding. It's uh, just a little bit further than Mwoolamba and this evening is just going to be a one night stay. This little uh, eco-friendly cabin is pretty much a tiny home. So it's on a uh, chassis on wheels and it's fully uh, move movable around. So uh, tonight we're going to start with a little uh, cheese board and then we've got some uh, delicious cooking uh, coming up later on. I'm going to be making filet mignons with uh, baby carrots, potatoes and a uh, mushroom sauce. So let's start with the cheese board. Okay, for our cheese board, we, uh, we've got a couple of cheeses. So we've got a uh, camembert and an aged cheddar. We've got some uh, prosciutto and a chicken and cognac pate. Some uh, Red Rock crackers. And from the local area, we were given this uh, little camembert cheese as well. So we'll, we'll try that out, see how that tastes. And also a finger lime paste. So this is obviously good with uh, crackers and uh, with your cheese and dip as well. So let's get these all opened up and uh, we'll see you outside. Oh, forgot the drinks. Okay, everyone. So this weekend is actually our wedding anniversary. So we've been married for 18 years now and uh, loved every minute of it. We've done a lot of traveling overseas, around Australia, and uh, we, you know, we love camping, we love holidays, all that type of thing. So here's to plenty more uh, anniversaries and weekends away and more trips and stuff for you guys. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Happy anniversary. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now it's time to enjoy this delicious platter. Uh, I don't know where to start. filming that part. <laughs> First piece went on the ground. <laughs>
Righto, evening everybody. So, for dinner tonight, we're having uh, filet mignons. So we've got some uh, eye fillet here, which I'll cut. I'll wrap that in bacon. I'll get that cooking on the barbecue outside. And then we'll uh, make some mushroom sauce to go on top of that. Then we'll do uh, turned potatoes with baby carrots and some asparagus. So firstly we'll uh, chop some mushrooms for the sauce. We'll get the sauce going first. So I probably don't need to chop all of these. So it's a small punnet. And uh, I'm just going to do maybe half. Okay, there we have. So uh, we'll get them on the pan and we'll get them cooking. Okay, so we've got the pan hot here. I'm just going to uh, put some butter in there. And uh, whack those mushrooms in. And we just want to cook these down a bit, obviously. Okay, so now when they're cooked down and they're actually uh, nice and softish, we'll just add our uh, gravy mix. I would normally add a dash of red wine to this, but I uh, left it at home, so. We'll uh, be leaving that out. We'll let that cook down a little bit. And then just to give it a little bit of a touch of uh, creaminess, we'll add some cream. Okay, so we'll put that on the uh, low flame on this side. Just let that cook down real slow. And we're going to add a pot of water to this side for the potatoes and the carrots. So let's get over to those. Okay, for the potatoes, we're going to do like turned barrel potatoes. So you want a reasonably smallish potato and then Top it, tail it, and we want to kind of turn it, you know, like a barrel, so six times. So give it one, two, three, four, five, six. A little bit of trimming, and there we have. So 
Kind of like a barrel potato. This is really just for uh, presentation, make them look a little bit nicer. So let's go ahead and do the other two, three. Three and one more. It, do, it does, I uh, guess, waste a little bit of the potato, but uh, we're not having mashed potato or anything like that. And uh, this will uh, look a little bit nicer. So there we go, four potatoes. So while we're waiting for the water to boil, we've got the uh, baby carrots. <coughs> so we'll just. Um, Leave some of the green on, but we'll just chop it down like a little stub like that. Take the tails off. So, top and tail uh, the carrots. And uh, we don't actually have a, uh, a peeler, so what you can do is, I'll show you in a second, you can just use the back of the knife and basically scratch up the uh, the skin on the outside and we'll do that under some water on the tap there and I'm just saving all the scraps from that there's uh, an eco uh, bin out the back there so we'll, we'll just chuck all those in there I've got to get the plastic out but and then we've got some uh, asparagus as well so let's wash these under the uh, tap. Okay, so let's just give these a bit of a clean up under the water here. They don't have to be super perfect, but get some of that dirt and that off. Okay, so that's my character. Okay, so the uh, water is boiling, so I'm going to get the potatoes on. And I've turned on the barbecue outside for the uh, steaks. So here is the piece de resistance, the piece of eye fillet. So it's quite big, which is good. So I'm going to cut this into three. So we want uh, to divvy it up. Look at that, beautiful. And we'll cut this piece. <coughs> so we'll use that bit and uh, we'll use this bit. So for a filet mignon, you want to uh, grab a piece of bacon rasher. Now I've just cut this bit off here in, uh, to make it flat. And what you want to do is grab your steak, wrap it all the way around, like so. And then use some toothpicks to hold that bacon on there. Once it starts cooking a little bit, it will uh, stick sort of naturally and then uh, once it's finished obviously remember to take the toothpicks out before you eat it. So let's wrap that one up. So I'll put four in each there we have it. Okay, so uh, we'll get these on the barbecue cooking. Okay, so the barbecue is on and hot. So I'm just going to get some uh, butter on there. And then 
get these on. So these are going to take a fair while. I would probably uh, do 10 minutes one side, maybe 10 minutes the other side, maybe less. Depends how you like it. We like ours medium rare, so we might just do uh, five and turn it over and five. A good thing about this barbecue is it has a lid, so you can keep all the heat inside and that'll cook faster, obviously. So uh, let's give that about five minutes or so and uh, we'll come back to it then. Okay, that's five minutes. Let's just turn these over. Okay, let's give those another five. Okay, so that's been five minutes either side. And there's still a bit of blood coming out there. Still quite soft in the middle. But uh, I like them quite uh, rareish. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn it off, the barbecue. And I'm going to let that sit uh, on there until the uh, potatoes and the rest of it's cooked. And then we'll dish it up. Okay, so the uh, steak's done. They've had a little bit of a rest. So let's just pull out these uh, toothpicks. So... There's our fillet. Now the potatoes. So here's the barrel potato. And a few carrots. I just put a little bit of butter and uh, salt and pepper on these. And uh, the asparagus. And now we'll get the uh, sauce on. Okay, so now for the uh, mushroom sauce on top. Okay, so there you have it. Filet mignon with mushroom sauce baby carrots, barrel potatoes, and some asparagus. All right, I'll dish up another one of these, and we'll see you at the dinner table. Righto, dinner is served. We just need to top up our wine, and then uh, dig in. Get every last drop out of there. Cheers. Thanks, Cheers. baby. Yep. <laughs> you could eat the vegetables first, but who does that? So let's dig in the steak. So that's come up a treat. Mm. Delish. Mm.
So that um, the eye fillet is actually from Aldi, and you can buy it in a packet like you saw. A uh, you know a smallish piece. You get three serves out of it, maybe four depending on size, and then it's really quite good quality and it's quite good price. So. We're big Aldi fans, I like to try, uh, you know, what they have on offer, and uh, I haven't had their eye fillet before, but I'm uh, pretty impressed with this. So, we're going to enjoy this, and then uh, we'll bring you back for dessert, we got something a little special there, so I'll see you then. If you enjoy our videos and our channel and you'd like to help support our more creative content, you can do so by simply buy me a coffee. It's a web-based app where you can just donate a small amount, like a coffee, which will contribute to going to us to make more content and more uh, special adventures for you guys. So if you'd like to help out, click the link below and uh, we thank you for your support. Okay everyone, so for dessert tonight we have made these uh, cream brulees. So these are just a simple uh, packet mix from Woolies or Coles. And you can use uh, cream and uh, milk and then you just cook it on the stove. And you uh, pour it in your ramekins. And then the simple, uh, at the end there, all you do is... So you'll need some caster sugar, and you want to just sprinkle the caster sugar over the top there. And what we're going to do is we're going to burn it with a little, uh, like a little Bunsen burner type thing. And you want to make uh, caramel on the top here. So you'll need one of these, and uh, you can buy these from a, a, like a food store and so forth. Or and then all you want to do is. Slowly uh, melt the sugar, and the sugar will turn into a caramelized uh, toffee. So let's do that. We'll uh, start melting this uh, sugar. Okay, so let's uh, try out that toffee effect. See there, so it's all set nice and hard, gives that uh, crunchy effect. Beautiful. Okay everyone, so we're going to enjoy these uh, desserts. We're going to finish our wine and call it a night. So we'll catch you guys in the morning uh, for a yummy breakfast. So we'll see you then.
Morning everyone, so had a great night's sleep last night, out here is dead peaceful, it was so quiet and uh, the only noise was the kookaburras this morning. So for breakfast we've had our coffee obviously, we're doing um, poached eggs with uh, sourdough and bacon and uh, side fried mushrooms and we're just going to do it like, a, like an eggs benny, so we've got some hollandaise sauce as well. Uh, which will go on top. So first of all we'll just get the pot on for the water and add some vinegar to that for the poached eggs and then a pan on for uh, some uh, butter and from, for the mushrooms. Uh, so we've got the water here, we'll just turn that on and we'll turn on the small one as well, get the pan on there. So in this pot we want to put a good splash of vinegar. Uh, that helps bring the egg whites together and um, form more, more of a solid egg instead of just spreading apart everywhere. So Let's get some butter into that pan. And then we'll chop up the mushrooms and get these in here as well and then on the barbecue outside we'll do the uh, the bacon okay so the uh, water has come to a simmer we're just going to uh, give it a little stir around like that and then crack our eggs in So just like uh, soft poached eggs, so we'll give them uh, a few minutes in there and you mostly just want them to not stick to the bottom. So move the water around a little bit so your egg doesn't stick to the bottom of the, uh, of the pot. Okay, for the, uh, the bacon and the uh, toast this morning, I'm just going to do it outside on the barbecue. Um, I'm not going to show you how to cook that. We all know how to cook bacon. So uh, I'll go out and do that and then uh, I'll come back and uh, we'll dish it up when it's all ready. Okay, so the eggs are cooked now. You probably want a hot spoon with a hole or something in it and then I usually just put them on a, uh, like a tea towel or a piece of cloth or something, just to get that extra water off. Okay, now we'll dish these up. Okay, so we're going to uh, obviously put the bread down first. Let's put the uh, bacon on top of that. And then we're going to add, we've got our avocado as well actually, so. And then let's put the eggs on top of there. And I'll uh, just grab the mushrooms. Slide of mushrooms. And some salt and pepper. And then you can add hollandaise sauce to the top of that. Uh, if you want to make it like a Benny. 
and uh, let's uh, dig in. Okay everyone, breakfast is served. Uh, this is the hollandaise I was talking about. You can just buy that from Coles or Woolies. Uh, we just want to say thank you for jo joining us this evening, this afternoon, uh, for our, our trip away. And uh, we're going to enjoy our breakfast and then we're going to pack up and uh, go for a bit of a walk. So uh, thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next time.